Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm on a bit of a special mission and I've got a helper as you can see. My son Dylan has decided to come with me today because we're going to be looking at the forest floor and what we're going to be looking for is for mushrooms and I'm actually going to try and get some different types of shots here. It's a kind of a grey day so there's not much light that's around but I'm going to experiment and see what can I get from scenes like as you see here just below me um, with uh, some close-up macro detail within the mushroom. Now I'm also as well have to brought my flash with me because I'm expecting that in certain areas it's going to be quite dark. So it's bright bright here at the moment but it's going to get dark obviously in certain areas as we explore. But it's all about the floor here today and yeah we're going to find some mushrooms. Yeah. Let's go. We've done our first shot there now, myself and Dylan, and what we've done here is gotten up close to a family of mushrooms actually that are there. Take a couple of shots actually, just standard, and then what I did is I put on my flash. And with the flash, what it does effectively is it allows you to be able to have a faster exposure, and also as well, it light up the subject here nicely and giving it some under light because we've only got the light coming from above. Camera, as you can see here, is down quite low as well. And at the moment, I'm at 35 mil. So I'm zooming in slightly onto the mushroom. Now I'm using my Sigma 24 to 70 uh, with me today. It's a 2.8 uh, lens, but I'm not actually shooting a 2.8. I'm shooting at f11 at the moment because with the flash and now we have better focal distance to be able to get the image sharper. So yeah, I'll show you the first shot anyway here. We're happy with our first discovery, aren't we Dylan? Yeah. And now we're going to move on, try and find some more mushrooms here on the forest floor. <music> Myself and Dylan here now, we found a very interesting mushroom actually that has a small little fern leaf as well that is part of it. So I've got the camera right on the ground here now as well to try and capture that shot. And I've not used my uh, flash actually for this one. So what I've done here is I've put it at f2.8. I'm doing a multitude of uh, focus stacks as well to so be able to put it all together then in post. But yeah, good find Dylan, well done. finder here has found another beautiful family of mushrooms and they're quite low to the ground again but what I've done is I've put on my tripod and luckily I can get quite low because I've removed the center column but even at that I think it's just maybe a small bit too high so I might try and end up taking the camera off the tripod and try and lay it on the ground again because I want to be able to see underneath the mushrooms here to be able to kind of give more of a depth within that image. Now again I'm quite close to this image so I have to focus stack and by focus stacking I'm taking a number of images probably around maybe 10 or 12 images because with the plane of field that I'm using here with the 2.8 I want the back to be soft and just purely having the mushroom as well in focus but yeah another really nice one to be able to find and uh, Dylan you took some shots didn't you? Yeah. How did it feel? Good. So are we going to like our shots? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll show you Dylan's shot here that he took and let me know in the comments what you think below.
So my helper found another set of beautiful mushrooms actually here on the floor and I've gotten down quite low actually to them as well. Um, focus stacking once again and I've actually stopped using the flash because like the uh, flat light that's there it's actually nice and because I'm getting under it all I need to do is kind of slightly overexpose the image as such so I can get some nice uh, detail and texture in the underneath of the mushrooms. Now what we have here is a family of probably maybe six or seven mushrooms and they're all closely bunched together but there's nothing in the background as well here by using the 2.8 so it all falls off nicely but a lovely shot good find dilly and yeah i'll uh, show you this shot now next and we'll continue on the search for more on the forest floor <music> So myself and Dylan now are taking a well-earned break. It's Sunday and it's around about maybe five to five in the evening. So every Sunday at five o'clock, I go live for my premiere. So it's great to be able to tune in here and chat with everybody while I'm actually out taking photographs for next Sunday's episode. And Dylan's going to watch it with me, aren't you, bud? Yeah. And we're going to watch it in the wood. And what are we searching for today? We're searching for a red mushroom, but we're not having any luck finding yet. So hopefully we'll be able to find one. Let's keep the search on for the red mushroom after we watch this week's okay. premiere. Myself and my helper have spent the last maybe 30 or 40 minutes walking around this woods trying to find the illustrious red mushroom. Any joy? Yeah, we haven't found any of it. We no. haven't found any. And we searched loads, didn't we? Yeah. But we had fun looking at the, at the floor, didn't we? Yeah. Did we get nice shots? Yeah. Yeah, I think we got some nice shots nonetheless. So we're going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much, as always, for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And until the next time, Schlange fall. <laughs> Good job.